want to do this, but I have no choice. No choice. No choice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How did we get there? Okay. I'm going to try making a one-piece mold plaster casting this PVC pipe. And I begin by making a base by rolling out some clay. And I roll the clay out to about one inch thick. And I looked at the prices of aluminum flashing and found out that a fairly small roll cost about $25 or $30. So I got to thinking about what else I could make the frame out of. So I was thinking of um, like an ice cream pail. Plastic should work. So I just start cutting out a frame using the ice cream pail. Looks like it should work. So the base is about an inch thick. So there's a tiny gap there at the bottom where the clay meets the pipe. So I'm just gonna push that clay up against that pipe. I need to weigh the item down with something you never know if it might become dislodged and then float up. So I weigh it down with stones and then I just top it off with clay. Try to make it as smooth as I can because this is actually going to be the base of the finished casting. So here I've cut my, my plastic and I decided to raise this base up about another inch just because I wanted to get some more height out of the frame. And I just pressed the frame into the clay there pretty good, about half an inch, just to make sure that the, the plaster doesn't leak out of the bottom. And I like to spread some water onto the clay on the outside, uh, just so it doesn't dry out too fast. And then I just tape up the sides of that frame with some duct tape. Then I use the Murphy oil soap. Make sure I get some on the top as well, which is actually going to be the base. And I'll also make sure that I get some onto the sides of the frame. And then I measure out one part water and one and a half parts plaster. And I'm not sure how much plaster I'm gonna need to fill that space. So I, I start with this. And don't forget to wear a mask when working with plaster. And I also wear a glove. I find that the plaster really dries out my hand quite a bit. And as you can see, we are into spring. Hey, little fellow. 
Okay, this is ready to pour. And I don't have enough. So I mix up another small batch to top it off. And as you can see, it is a beautiful sunny day today. And don't forget to tap the side of that mold there. Just release any air bubbles that might be in there. Okay, let's open this up and take a look at our cast. And that comes off perfectly. And I noticed that the plaster doesn't stick to the clay, so you don't actually need to add the, the Murphy's oil onto bare clay because the plaster will not stick to it, which makes sense. And trouble arises having difficulties getting this pipe out. It's supposed to slide out pretty easily because I definitely use the oil soap on it. I can move it around about an inch or so, but having a heck of a time getting it out. Just try everything I can to get that that pipe out of there. I managed to, to lift it out about one eighth of an inch, but it it sticks and it's not moving and I'm screwed. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. Okay, let's do this right. Let's try to figure this out. So I figure if I wrap the pipe in transparency film, then it's actually not going to come into contact with the plaster, so it should slide out. I tape the transparency film to the PVC pipe with double-sided tape. And let's try it and see if it works.
and I apply the Murphy's oil soap to that transparency film. This time I decide not to push down the frame so much, just a little bit. This time I mix up an appropriate amount of plaster. Two parts water, to three parts plaster. And after that's ready to set up, I begin pouring. And oh no, no, no. I do have a few leaks, but no worries. The plaster was setting up pretty quick and those holes sealed themselves up. And I managed to finish pouring the plaster. Okay, let's see how this set up. And... Uh-oh, oh! oh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice! Success! It worked beautifully. And I clean up the edges, clean it up nice, let it rest for a week and it'll be ready to go. And there's a little seam line there from where the transparency film had wrapped around. But when I use the mold, I can probably smooth that clay out. Thanks for Thanks watching. For watching.